Boom! Look at that! What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be testing $10 kitchen gadgets. Let's do this. Let's test them. Let's do this. The first one I'm going to try is the Clever Cutter, okay? So apparently there's like a cutting board there with your scissors and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let me see. Let me just cut this. Mm. Clever cutter. I'm using a scissors to open this. It's, it kind of looks like scissors too, so I don't even know. Let me just get this out of here really fast. I'm really excited to try this because you guys know how much I like to be in the kitchen and testing stuff out. Okay, so here it is. It comes like this. It looks like this. Oh, it has a nice little lock on the bottom. Interesting. And it just can cut things. And it has like a little choppy. Oh, that's kind of scary. This thing can cut things like this, and it goes like directly into soups or your pans. But for our purposes today, I'm just going to see if it works. I'm cutting just random vegetables. Let me grab some. All right, the first thing I'm going to cut is what they have in the picture right here. They have some carrots and some celery. And they're cutting two things at once. Okay, I'm not going to get that crazy yet, but I'm going to just try to see if I can cut. One thing first. Ooh, okay. That is kind of satisfying. That is kind of nice. Wait, what's the difference between cutting it with scissors though? Let me see. Oh, whoa, look it. It's like harder to cut with scissors. It like moves, see? It's like really hard. But with the Clever Cutter, what? That's pretty cool. It cuts like, it cuts it really nicely. It's like nice little gentle pieces, ooh. And you can kind of get a nice perfect pieces almost. Let's see what I can do, what it says in the picture where they're using like two at once. Let's try to cut two things at once. Here we go. Ooh, 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 you go, clever cutter. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this thing actually works really well and it's pretty sharp. I like the feel of it, it feels really nice. Okay, let's see if I can cut some other things. I got a zucchini here. Let's see if I can cut this. Here we go. Ooh, these are nice slices. It's just Ooh, so satisfying to cut it. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. It goes directly down the center of it, and then you can give it another cut once you cut it down the middle like that. You can hold it together and then go and cut right here. Ooh. Okay, this thing is pretty clever. I kind of really like this. This is pretty dope. Now for the ultimate test. Can it cut a banana? This is the strongest one. Ooh. What? This thing works so well. It's so sharp. So it's just slicing through it like nothing effortlessly. I would give this one a, a 7.8, a 7.8 on the rating. It's really sharp, it's really handy, you don't need to use a cutting board, there's already like a built-in mini cutting board there. I like you clever cutter, this is really clever. Alright guys, the next kitchen gadget I'm really excited about because I always see it in stores and in the interwebs and I wanted to try it myself, it's called Slice Right. Let's check it out. Okay, so apparently this thing can slice into like everything and pick it up for you. So, whoa, whoa, that's all it is? It's just like this and it has like a nice little slicer thing at the top? Okay. So I'm gonna use what they have in the pitcher, which is a watermelon, to first try it and see how well it works, okay? So first I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna go down. Whoa. <laughs> okay. And then I come up with it like this. And then wait, what am I supposed to grab it? Am I supposed to flip it like this? Ooh. Ooh! Look at it! You just pull the slice right out. What? And if you want, you can put the slice back in like a like a hard drive. Ooh, look at it. This is so weird. It just works so well. Okay, honestly though, I thought it worked the other way. I didn't know you had to flip it around. I thought you just went like this and then grabbed it. But let's just go again. Okay, so I'm slicing it down. Okay. And I'm coming up like that. That easy. And I go right here. Uh, hey, Mr. Oh, hey, oh, uh oh, we have a problem with the slice right. If it's too thin, it doesn't really work that well. Look at it, I can't really pick this up. I gotta squeeze really hard. Mmm, uh, yes, juice. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, well, we know it does work, and we know it does slice really well. Oh, this is just so satisfying to slice. Let's see if it tastes better. Mmm. Oh my god. It's like the juiciest watermelon ever. I wonder if this has anything to do with that. Like because we're like cutting it with making it juicy. Like look how much juice is in here. Jeez, this watermelon is juicy. Wow, that was so refreshing and delicious. Okay, so I have a cantaloupe here. And apparently I can just slice it right like this. And pick up this slice right here. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go again. Wow, this thing is so cool. You can do so many cool things with this. Wow, look at that, that's awesome. I could just keep, 
This is addicting. Mmm, this is so good, too. So apparently, according to this, it says I can slice through cake. I mean, it kind of worked. <laughs> I wouldn't say it fully worked because it definitely didn't slice all the way through the cake, but for the most part, it worked. And look, I got a cantaloupe cake now. Get it? Uh. What? All right, slice right. I give this one as a rating since it can cut through cake. It's so versatile. I give it an 8.5. I really enjoyed this. That is that is amazing. That is awesome. I like you, slice right. Mm. Mm. The next kitchen gadget I'm gonna try, which I have no idea what it is. Here it goes. Is Oh my gosh, the Vajetti! That sounds weird, the Vajetti! So I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, Clever Cutter. <laughs> See if I can open this, ooh. The Clever Cutter is having technical difficulties cutting this. <laughs> Apparently I can make pastas. Okay, so I have here a zucchini. Do I just put it in here? Ooh, okay, so I guess I just spin it like this. I just wanna make a long, thick one. Here we go. It's kind of working, guys. It's kind of, it's, it's interesting. I'm making this. I just want to know who would eat zucchini pasta, though. Like, pasta is so delicious. It's one of my favorite foods. I love spaghetti. I love ravioli. I love gnocchi. I love all the, like, that bad stuff for you. Who would eat this? Who in their right mind would eat this? I mean, I guess this is kind of cool, though. Look at this. Look at my zucchini. <laughs> it's all pasta -y. Whoa, okay, I like that. On this side, it made like a little a little pig's tail. The next thing I wanna try to cut is a carrot. Carrot, hello, Mr. Carrot. Why are you not working, Mr. Carrot? Oh. Carrot, hello? Oh, wait, I made, I, made one, I made one long string. Maybe this carrot is too small for this. Let me try with a banana. Here we go, banana time. Banana pasta, here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh gosh. Banana pasta, here we go. Okay, <laughs> it's definitely not working with a banana. It's just kind of smushed in here. It definitely does not work with this thing. Okay, so just for you guys' reference, it does not work with a banana. But let's try one more thing, okay? One more thing, here we go. I got one more thing for you guys. I got a wiener, I got a little wiener. Let's see if it's gonna work on this side. I'm gonna use the thin side, try to cut my wiener. There we go. Okay, definitely does not work on this side. Oh my gosh, okay, so for a rating, I would give this one, uh, I'd give this one a 7.0. It's cool you can make zucchini pasta, but you can't really make any other pasta yet besides like cucumber and stuff. So I'll give it a 7.0. All right guys, so the next gadget I have is this pineapple slicer thing. It's called Professionals. I get it, fresh and now, see, see that there? Okay, they made a pun. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Apparently this is like the easiest way to slice a pineapple in the world, so I'm gonna try it out. Let's follow the instructions. It says, cut the top off your pineapple. All right, got my sword here, ching. Okay, gonna go ahead and cut the top off my pineapple. <clears throat> okay, pineapple top, cut off. So I guess I just put this on top like this. This feels like some advanced technology. Okay, so I put this on here. And I just, it says, twist until you get to the bottom, okay? Guys, I think it's actually working. What is going on right now? <laughs> I think this thing is working. What? It's juicy, it's so juicy. Okay, keep twisting. This is so exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna get to the bottom, but okay, I'm gonna keep twisting it up. Wait a second. What? Wait, here we go. Am I at the bottom yet? <gasps> I'm definitely at the bottom. Alright, do I lift? Okay, push the bottom to pop off. Oh! Wow! Wow! I just pushed the bottom. Boom! Look at that! Oh my gosh! It creates perfectly formed rings. Holy cannoli, look at this. Uh, you can actually leave the shell, you can put like fried rice in here, you can put juice in here. Oh, that's so delicious, wait, what? Whoa, you can just take off these perfectly cut pineapples. Look how beautiful that is. Check this out, guys, the world's first, okay, maybe not the world's first, but this pineapple stick, <laughs> this pineapple cylinder, wow, this is crazy. Ow, it's really hard. <laughs> 
It looks like the spine of the pineapple in a perfect circle. This is so weird. I give it an 8.0. It works so well. It just like did its job. It cut through this. You guys see the inside of that? You can see my eye right there. Hi guys, this is crazy. I like it. You put all the slices back in the pineapple like I'm sorry I cut all this out of you, sir. And it looked like nothing ever happened. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, on to the next item. Are you tired of waiting for water to boil? Cooking pasta like a normal person sucks so bad. Black and white spaghetti is so boring. Now, Rapid Cooker is here. The best mac and cheese maker ever. All right, this is the Rapid Mac Cooker. What? I don't even know what this is. It looks like just it's a, a, a tub of wear or like a piece of plastic, but let's try it out. Okay, so we got the Rapid Mac Cooker right here by Rapid Brands. We go right here, boom. It's this awesome, high-tech, plastic-looking container. What's so special about this? I don't get it. I don't understand why this is not like a bowl. I don't know what is going on. It literally looks just like a bowl. So it says five minutes versus 20 minutes on the stove, okay. So apparently you can eat it like in the dorm room at the office. Okay, so let's just try it. Okay, so this one, we're gonna go ahead and put the mac and cheese in. Bang, that easy, right? And then it says just add water to this line right here. There's a line in here, so I'm gonna go fill this up with some water. I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. The water is filled to the line right there. I just microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds. Here we go. Okay, taking this out right here, putting it in. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Count with me, I'm kidding, okay, okay, bye. One eternity later. Oh, it is done now, here we go. Okay, whoa, there's still a lot of water in there. What, is that supposed, to, is that right? Is there supposed to be water? Stir, oh my gosh, okay, so, so far we've used two minutes of my life. Okay, it says to just stir it and loosen the noodles. Okay, you guys like that stirring action? Yes, I'm the best stirrer in the world, okay. Great, so now that I have stirred, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. Okay. And I'm gonna put this in. And I'm gonna do it for two minutes, here we go. Oh, two more minutes, here we go. 12 seconds later. It is done. It smells nice, okay. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, okay. There's still a bit of water in there. It says stir some more, okay, I'm gonna read the instructions. Stir some more, add ingredients, mix well, and enjoy. It's so watery, are you sure? Are you sure, microwave? Here we go, I'm adding the rest of the ingredients. So apparently I need about uh, four tablespoons of butter. This is the healthy mac and cheese, guys, don't worry. Four tablespoons of butter, some milk, ba-bang, DIY mac and cheese. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pour the cheese in. Mmm, look at all this cheese. This is so cheesy, okay. So I put all this cheese in here. Mmm. <laughs> Mac and cheesy. <laughs> what kind of mac and cheese is this? Rapid mac cooker. All right, maybe it's good. Maybe this is the future. Maybe this is what I've got to try. Maybe this is my out of my comfort zone, guys, all right? I got some mac and cheese. <laughs> and I just noticed that big piece of butter right there. Mac and cheese soup. Here we go. Oh, it's still hard. It's like crunchy. It's sticking to my teeth still. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> I didn't drink it like soup. It's right, squishy on the inside, but the outside is like crunchy. It's not normal to be that soupy. Oh my gosh. Well, it's kind of good. It's just addicting. I think that's what they put in the cheese. I give this one a, a 7.0. So now you can say that. If you guys want to make your own mac and cheese soup, go ahead and try and pick up one of these. It'll give you the best instructions to do so. On to the next gadget. All right, guys, for the next product I'm going to try, it's called... The Eggy. What? I've seen this before and I've been so excited to use it, so I'm just gonna try it myself right now. This is mainly for me, guys. I am so happy right now that the Eggy is here. This is an egg slicer. Apparently, you can slice eggs like perfectly, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Ooh, this Eggy is giving me ideas for another video, though. It has like a guitar here. You can play music on it. So apparently, you just you just put the egg right here on it like that, egg slicer, and <laughs> it's not working. Oh, I guess you can't slice real eggs with these. Uh, I really can't slice this egg with it. This 
Okay, maybe I'm doing it wrong? Hello? Maybe like, gotta put it under it? Oh, that is not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does it slice it now? Oh! Oh! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Okay, yeah, that I think that was the wrong way. Um, Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so now we're back. You know, I figured out we gotta use hard-boiled eggs, and I gotta crack them first. I love hard-boiled eggs, guys. I don't know about you guys. Some people hate eggs. I love hard-boiled eggs. I gotta peel this sucker on camera. This is very stressful because I feel like you guys are just watching me. I'm very nervous at peeling. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up now. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. You guys are making me nervous about peeling. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm not nervous anymore. Oh, man, now. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I cut that egg. I peeled that egg. Now I'm gonna cut this egg. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So put this egg here. I'm really excited for this. Here we go. Let's just let's just check this out. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look at the tension on that right there. Ooh, ooh, right through. Ooh, ooh, it just went right through it. Look at how sliced that is. That is amazing. That is egg amazing. Let's just try a slice. Have you guys ever had a slice of egg before? Me neither. Mmm, that's so good. Mm. Let's see if we can slice other things, like this tomato. <laughs> it's literally just like juicing the tomato. It just like pushed all the juice of the tomato out. It tried so hard to cut it. Let's try the next thing. All right, the next one I'm gonna cut is an avocado. Let me just first slice it in half. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to slice this avocado. Hit. It's too big, once again. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slice it down this side, right here. Ooh. Oh, it worked. Wow, I have a nice fan now, look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Avocado. The next and final thing I'm gonna try to slice is a wiener. I'm gonna put it right here. Let's see if this egg amazing slicer can cut this. It doesn't really work for it. I thought I was gonna make these beautiful freshly cut sausages and just have them there for my hot dog, but it did not work, okay? So, I'm gonna give this a rating now. So the rating I'll give this is 7.8. It is pretty cool cutting eggs, but it really can only cut eggs and really soft things like avocados, so, okay, all right, egg, you egg slicer thing, what's it called, eggy, all right, eggy. This is pretty cool, but on to the next item. All right, guys, so, oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing I ever saw, look at it. It's a little wiener dog, and it's a hot dog slicer, which is kind of weird because it's a wiener dog, and it's cutting hot dogs, which is what wiener dogs are which is kind of scary if you think about it. Okay, it's kind of like a chicken omelet. Think about that, chicken omelet. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut this open. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna free you, my wiener dog. Here we go, you're my dog, you're my best friend. Okay, so apparently just put your wiener here and you just, just slice it. Like that, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and slice this up, all right. So I got a wiener over here, let me get one. And now we just put this on top. This is exciting, I'm about to slice a wiener really easily. Okay, so I just put this here, this here, and then slice. Oh, what? That was so cool, it was like, pop, and it just worked. It just worked, look at that. What the heck? And it looks like the wiener dog now, I get it. It's so cute. Oh, it looks like a wiener dog. Oh, you're the cutest, huh, aren't you? You're, you're so cute, okay. So apparently you're supposed to put some ketchup here. Mmm, yes. Ketchup for my wiener dog. Now, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Uh-oh. Oh, so it just stays on here? This is like a little serving tray? I'm confused. Is it supposed to, oh no, it's supposed to stay there. Oops, I accidentally picked it all up. But it's fine, now it just looks like I'm eating a wiener dog. <laughs> and I'm gonna dip it in this ketchup, let's see if it tastes good. Actually, I don't know if I cooked this hot dog. Uh -huh. yeah. But it is good, it cut it really well. Wow, look at that. For a rating on this one, I would actually give it like an 8.4. It's cool for kids, it's not dangerous at all. You can't hurt yourself on it. You can't like try to cut your finger and stuff. So I like it, I like this a lot. And it has a cute little puppy on it. Thank you guys so much for watching my $10 weird kitchen gadget videos. This is like so much fun. Let me know if you guys want me to make another one kind of like this. I'll find more gadgets on Amazon or something. I had so much fun with my wiener, with my eggy. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Peace!